For this website design review, we're taking a look at EnsureHypnotherapy.com. And I want to first start out by saying that I'm in no means trying to bash your website or insult anybody who's worked on it. I'm just providing an honest review of your site from a designer's perspective with some constructive criticism and feedback to help benefit your website. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this review. The first thing I always look for when I do a review is the logo. It should be located in the upper left hand corner of the website. Should link from every page back to the home page. Um, yours doesn't do that. It should link directly back to the home page uh, from any point in the site. It is located in the upper left hand corner. It does have some color variation. Overall, this is a decent looking logo. Uh, you know, it's fairly descriptive about what it is that you do. You know, you have hypnotherapy in here. Um, my only objection is it kind of represents that you're on NorthShoreHypnotherapy.com, maybe rather than EnshoreHypnotherapy.com. So that might create some confusion for users. Uh, overall, the design, there's nothing here as far as your design or visual elements. Uh, it's just blank white page with black text, about as basic as you can possibly get for design. So, you know, I mean, very minimalistic. You have no design, really. Uh, you're using frames, which is uh, a huge no-no for SEO and just general website design in general. Uh, most people quit using frames back in the 1990s. And so it's just kind of disappointing to see a website. I haven't seen a website with frames in probably 10 or more years. Uh, and that's how you've chosen to choose, you know, your layout. So it's definitely going to hurt your SEO and, uh, you know, just kind of make some navigation problems for your site. Um, the rest of your header is very blank. The first image that you have, uh, you know, you're, you're only... What your eyes draw to, what catches your attention is book your appointment online, Cl click here. You have a call to action in a wrong place. You haven't even presented any information. You haven't given the user an offer. So it's like you're doing everything backwards. You're hitting them with a call to action, then presenting them with company information, then presenting them, you know, how you can help them. Um, you know, and, and it's just very weak on engaging the user with these text links, you know, book your appointment online now. Well, of course it's online. I wouldn't be online if I wasn't at your website. So those type of things, when you say online, it's like, duh, you know, it's like every, you know, it wouldn't be on your website if I wasn't online. So it just seems really ridiculous to emphasize the online, um, you know, and, and when you click here, it opens in a new window, takes you out of the website. Now you're on this complicated thing here. I don't even know how to engage this. You know, there's there's no instructions here. Uh, this is a really crappy way of engaging people to book an appointment. Um, you know, you got this easybook.co.nz. I don't know why you don't have some sort of booking or an event uh, plugin. Are you using WordPress? What the heck are you using? Now, this is all in frames, so this isn't going to tell me. I don't know what you're using, but you should probably be using WordPress. I don't see uh, any benefit to leaving your site. Um, you know, and this just maybe you know it just doesn't. To me, this is this is kind of complicated. I see a usability problem for people trying to easily book this, and and this is terrible. And this isn't even your website. This is somebody else's terrible website. Uh, so this is com this has a lot of usability problems. It's just not uh, so. It should be so intuitive that I don't need instructions. That any adult should be able to come on here and easily set up an appointment and. I just, you know, now it's like you got to log in, you got to register, I'm on somebody else's website. There's nothing here that, you know, allows me to just quickly engage in this uh, and pay for it. So I'm lost at, at to why that redirects. To me, all this stuff could be handled within the website internally. That's how it should be handled. Uh, there's never any reason 
for your site to leave an exit point to you know take part in something uh, should all be completely integrated into uh, your website I notice you've got your phone number buried all the way down in the bottom of your page in small font that just kinda gets washed out uh, here you have it but it's well below the fold your phone number should be prominently displayed in the top of your header on every page so that it's clearly available um, you know that you've got more of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen links in your global navigation anything more than five you should have a prominently displayed search box on your website so you really have just presented a, a very poor offer uh, nothing to reach out grab the users attention engage them into a properly structured offer and you know present the user with the information they expect to find and easily allow them to take action um, you know as you scroll down here you know your book appointment online now just looks like the, I mean these just all look like banner ads this all looks like advertising and it doesn't look um, like it's a uniform integrated part of the website this just looks like you stuck a lot of banner ads in the bottom of your page uh, you know really really weak on call to actions um, you know we click on the about us page you know it's good to have a call to action but you're presenting it at the top of the page you should present your information and give your users an opportunity to take action on that information this just seems really pieced together where why is this find us on Facebook here on the about us page you know to, everybody has uniformity when dealing with social media outlets you either put those in your footer your header or your sidebar your outlets there's nowhere on your home page that should be clearly available I shouldn't have to look to your about us page to find your Facebook information that should be clearly labeled on your home page should also be incorporated throughout your site so if there's content to share that users can easily share that information um, you know the the layout of the content you're not using any color the design is very bland uh, you know you know the, the images that you're using in the, in the manner that you've laid this out all needs to be improved there's no uniformity look you've got font size here that's big this is tiny like font size 2 this is like font size 5 uh, you know you've bolded some stuff underlined uh, you know your links are the only thing that should be underlined you know when you underline things it gives people the impression that it's a clickable region so you know this is underlined this is a link but this one isn't so it's just confusing to the user what's clickable what's not clickable on your website uh, just very poorly executed um, you know an about page is something it's generally a letter from the owner of the website to the end user it's a place to highlight your you know your credentials your expertise um, there's no clearly defined funnel or sales path if you will from the home page there's no engagement into any of this other content there's no way to search so the user has to extract everything from your menu rather than just being engaged in a clearly defined path uh, your home page should have modularized pieces of content with call to actions to engage users into your most important products services or content uh, so this is just a very poorly executed offer um, really I don't think the users are getting the information that they're looking for or expecting to find on your website um, stop smoking in one day uh, you've got you know a slideshow here not a big deal uh, just you know looks really tacky looks you know old school layout you know from 1990 rather than being a modern designed website um, you know no no use of consistent fonts or color throughout the site um, you know here you've got this call to action book an appointment now stop smoking in a day 300 NZD buy now um, you know ditch these five or testimonials these suck no matter who you get these from these all look terrible they all 
are just I, I hate Fiverr video testimonials. I despise them. They really I can spot them in a second. And and I I even I know this one because I've seen her on a bazillion websites. Um you know, and then here's, you know, more engagement. This content goes on and on. It's a different font size. Now it's on to Anthony Robbins and, you know, uh, you know, it's just not properly formatted. I mean, this is not how you format a website. I mean, this looks like a 10 year old kid laid this out. I'm not trying to bash your website if you're the person who worked on it, but I mean, it really is a poor, poorly constructed offer. And, you know, you've got some call to actions, but they're just really bad. They're not using buttons. They're not, you're not using any other visual elements or graphics. You know, you just have the same constant. This looks like a banner. It doesn't even look like a call to action. It looks like a banner uh, that, you know, might even possibly, you know, redirect you to another page. And, that, and I think that's what's happening. People see this and think it's a banner uh, and don't click on it. So it just, you know, this is a consistent theme throughout the site. It's just poorly laid out, not using graphics enough. Um, you know, here's an FAQ. You know, this looks clickable. There's a mouse on it, like it's clickable, uh, but nothing. You know, and then, you know, here, you know, here's an advertisement that takes me to somebody else's offer, which looks nice. So, you know, it's an exit point. Any link that's not on your site should open in a new window. Uh, if it's on your site, it should stay internal. Uh, you know, you've presented this information, but it seems like your main focus here is getting people to click on here. You know, this advertisement, this seems, you know, this is what's above the fold. So that's your call to action above the fold. Uh, as you scroll down, you know, you've got this, you know, this is an exit point. You know, that one opens in a new window. Um, so, you know, you've got content on here. It's just poorly laid out. You're not using relevant images. The graphics that you're using aren't, you know, these are banners. You know, this is a banner. This isn't a call to action. These look like banners. Um, you know, I think it's just weak on engaging the user. There's no way for the user to determine what, what, what page am I on on your website? Since you're using frames, I can't look in my URL bar to tell what page I'm on. There's nothing highlighted by color in your menu option to tell me what page I'm on, what page I visited. There's no differentiation in visited or non-visited links. Um, so you can't determine there's no breadcrumbs. Every user should be able to answer, where am I currently on your website, no matter where they're at. And, and, and it seems to me like every basic design principle and just basic web design was completely just overlooked and just ignored with the layout of this site um you know i'm not trying to be a jerk but i mean this is you know really poorly laid out um you know very weak on engagement um you know you've got different headers up here two logos in the same header you know, sometimes there's big blank white space up here. You know, on this, there's, you know, this big headline up here. Just, you know, really poor use of colors. Uh, you know, you've got purple and black in your logo, and you don't use purple anywhere else on the site. Uh, you've got blue call the blue and black call to actions. Nobody uses black call to actions. You use green call to actions because people know that, Green means go. People click on buttons and, you know, most call to actions are, are green or yellow, not, you know, black. Black's not, you know, a positive, warm, uplifting color. Um, you know, you got a couple of CDs here. I mean, this is just all scattered about. Uh, you know, there's no pricing information. Uh, you can't click on any of, I guess you have to click on this to get, you know, and then I'm at somebody else's page. So it's like, you know, you know, I see a lot of redirects from your site. It's like you're afraid to produce your own content or have anything on your website. This is, you know, several links that I'm seeing that are just bailing right off of your website. Boom. Now I'm on hypnosis downloads. I'm off of your website. Going to go spend money at somewhere else. I don't know if you used an affiliate link for that. 
Uh, I guess maybe you did because I see a referral number in it, but uh, it's just really poorly laid out. Doesn't instill confidence or trust, um, and just is really weak on engaging the user. So uh, here you have a contact button. This is something that you know most people make really predominantly displayed. You know, again, here's this here's this ugly you know book appointment now banner on the contact page of all places I'm on the contact page I'm trying to contact you you know and, and you know you're redirecting to this other form when you should just have a booking form directly on your website uh, it's a simple process you know very easy to incorporate a, a web-based form you should have a form on here rather than engaging in these mail to links they take users out of the flow of your website People use software to harvest these emails and send you junk email. Uh, so definitely, um, you know, you should have a form on there. It's good you have a map, your phone number, your Skype. Um, you know, I prefer to see a photo of who they're contacting. I haven't seen any personalization on this site. On the About page, I saw two people. No personalization throughout the site. So that's something that people use to connect with. People connect with people, not websites. So when your website's personalized and they go to contact you and they see your name and they see your picture throughout the site, they feel like I'm connecting with a person named John who works at North Shore Therapy and is an awesome counselor. I don't know what your name is. I just, I'm just guessing. But it, it creates a personal connection rather than you know just engaging in a lot of text and you know this is just so obnoxious with this book appointment online now you know you're real heavy on the call to action to book the appointment now it's just really strategically placed in, in bad areas and you know isn't an effective call to action uh, these reviews are fine uh, you know this is just really you know and then down here what what does this have to do I don't even know what damn page I'm on I guess it's the testimony, what clients say about us page. Was that it? I'm just going to click here. All right, the what clients say. You got all these reviews, and then it's like, here's content, like WTF. <laughs> you know, it just seems totally out of place, you know, and then there's more banner ads. It's, it's like you're more concerned about trying to make advertising money or referral money than you are about focused on booking appointments or selling your services uh, this site's littered with ads uh, and it really takes away from the credibility I mean who cares about second tar Jesus I'm coming to your site for hypnotherapy not for ads about second life uh, so it just seems overdone on the advertising and just looks like crap in my opinion um, you know this says downloads you know there's I don't see any downloads this is a playable audio you know good to have this type of content on your site it's just not organized what are all these links I mean this is ridiculous no user is gonna sit and god dang scroll through this ginormous frigging list of links my god there's over 500 links on this page what a, I mean, this is just newbie hour 101. I mean, nobody lays out content like this. And you think nobody's going to engage in this content. I mean, that's just completely unacceptable. I mean, that's just basic web design. Anybody could Google web design tutorial and, you know, yeah, this page doesn't even fit within the browser resolution kicks out beyond 1024 by 768 no logo different header uh, you know buy now can't click it oh here here's the buy now buried down here so it's, it's just really weak on engaging the user it's like you know you've overused call to actions but you haven't even put them in the properly places it's just like well we'll just stick a call to action here when here and when another one here and we're not going to think about how this is relevant. We're just going to put it in here. Um, I mean, this is really a bad example of what not to do with a website. Um, Life-changing seminars. You know, here's another. Lifechangeseminars.co. 
uh, somebody else like in this one you can't click or engage in anything so it's totally useless download for Sarah I don't even know why a download for Sarah is a menu option uh, you've got an FAQ here you know it's not bad there's only a couple questions it should be formatted with the question when you click on the question it drops down the answer below I don't know what you're using for your site if this was hand coded or what but I mean it's terrible you really need to start over from scratch I would suggest using WordPress uh, get rid of the frames the frames are causing a huge big problem for your search engine optimization and your rankings um, so you know really when the search engines look at your site all they are getting is this link this image no other content they aren't scanning they aren't indexing any of these words anything on your page they're only indexing uh, you know the, the 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 file that brings this these two web pages in here uh, you know this is really a bad example you, you should be using WordPress or some other content management solution Character length on your URL is fine. Uh, I show no title in your website, which is an important factor for SEO. Meta description tag, also the other important factor in your SEO. So you're missing two of the most critical and important tags for search engine optimization, and you've just left them blank. Uh, no keywords, no heading tags being used, no images. Um, text to HTML ratio is very low, 23% should be closer to 50. You are using frames, but you're not using Flash. There's no robots.txt file, no XML sitemap file. The language and the doc type are declared. Your encoding is not specified. You're not using any Google Analytics or any other tracking software. You're not using geo meta tags. There's no associated RSS feeds and you're not using gzip compression on your server so pretty much all of your on-page optimization needs a, a good reworking um, I see that you have a page rank 0 in Google out of a possible 10 uh, one page indexed in Google zero backlinks no tweets dig delicious simpy technorati or Facebook likes at all so very weak on social media engagement very weak on other sites backlinking to yours and your on-page optimization efforts are nil so um, you know a huge huge amount of work ahead of you uh, this really is a, it is is an example of what not to do uh, more so than being a you know compliant usable website and I was really surprised to find that you have a, a mobile version of your site but it's good that you do uh, I just feel you know this one's probably not the most best looking mobile site but you know it's good that you have one nonetheless I just feel the main website uh, looks absolutely terrible uh, and you know really is kind of in line with maybe 15 years ago what was going on in design so that's my review of your site thanks for letting me review it and have a great day